Hey, Camping Gear TV. I'm Josh. I am Benito. That's Benito. Uh, what are we talking about today? We are going to look at a couple of cases that you can use to put your iPod mm -hmm. or iPhone or MP3 player or some sort of portable musical listening device in. All right. While you are on the river or anywhere <clears throat> that could be treacherous wow. for those products, and hopefully they will protect them. Wow, it sounds like it's going to be an exciting episode. It will be an adventure for sure. What is this? This is again our bucket of water. Okay. And uh, this is starting to become a staple in our episodes because so many things we are mm -hmm. testing to see how waterproof yeah. these products really are. And of course, we'll be testing both our products that we have today. All right. Shall so we? What do we got here? Okay. First one is a uh, product by Pelican. All right. Okay. Pelican's it, a big name. Yep, they make a lot of uh, a lot of uh, waterproof gear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cases. Yeah, cases. Thank you. Yeah, brain fart there. A lot of uh, cases for just you yeah. know electronic equipment, keep it safe and whatnot. <clears throat> Basically, this is for your uh, iPod. Okay, yeah. it goes in here. It's supposed to be a watertight case, and it's got an external jack on it for your headphones. Okay. So that you know, you could listen to music while in you know right. you could be near you know water. You could be in a canoe, and if you were to tip, it wouldn't be the end of the world. All right. Barring this doesn't go over a waterfall. Now, what happens with the with the external jack? What if this gets water in it? Well, okay. So let let's kind of or the other end of your headphone jack. Yeah. So let's kind of go through this. All right. um, first of all, the way it connects is there is. Your, yeah. your iPod goes in and connects in here. So the only Put a little picture up of a close up of that. Yeah. So the only the only thing that is exposed, like you were saying, is this external jack in your headphones. Right. Okay. So if water gets in there, it's not going to damage anything, but maybe it might not it might not work. Mm. But the connection should be okay. If you you're not going to be listening to this while you throw it in the river. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're going to be wanting to keep it in a dry spot. If it flips and you have to get it and you dry it off, you'll be good to rock and roll. All right. Okay. So, um, and we've tested, we got a few iPods down here. Yep. Okay. The iPhone, I, I don't have an iPod touch, unfortunately. I've got every other one, though. But uh, here's an iPhone, and the iPhone does not fit in this case. All right. Okay. So this would, and I, I am. I would have to say that the iPod Touch is about the same size and, and possibly may not fit in here as well. Right. So that's a big minus. Right. That that won't work. I don't have an iPod. I have an iPhone. Right. So I would pretty a lot much of have people, no right. need for that. A lot of people have you know iPhones. Here is um, an iPod. An iPod. Okay. This is the 80 gig one. I guess the. I don't know if it was called classic version. I call it the sturdy hog. Yeah, the sturdy hog. So, you know, he's buckled in, kind of wedges in there, goes in there and clips. Actually, here, let's uh, I hit play. Okay, we're clipped. We're good to go. We're plugged in. I hear music. You hear music? You hear music? Mariah Carey. Yep. All right. Got me feeling emotions. All right. Okay. In the bucket of water we go. Okay. And this kind of semi floats. It does. And the jack is kind of popped up. It's out of the water. It's it's fighting. It's doing all it can for you. I wouldn't leave this in here for a year. Right. But you know, it, it, it it's not yeah. gonna sink to the bottom. If you were on a river, it'll pop to the top. But there's a good chance it float away. So better hurry quickly. But the key is making sure the contents inside are protected. Hey, I got a towel over there, I forgot. <clears throat> the key is making sure the contents inside are protected. You know, and if we uh, pop this thing open, yeah. you know, it, it's okay. But, if you, but actually, as you can see, there's a little bit of, uh, of water right. around the edges there. Right. So again, I think the point is, you're not going to listen to this with this thing sitting in a bathtub for an hour. Right. You know, it's 
but if it, if it falls in the water, you need to get it out. You're, it's it's going to be safe. It's a good precaution. Right, right. For something right. smaller than an iPhone. Right, and it's going to protect what you what you got in there. You know, same thing. You can fit smaller iPods in here. Okay. Yep. Results are the same. And the one thing that's nice about this, um, water resistant might be a, a better term because yeah. a, a little bit of water does get through. Yeah, I saw that. But with this case. Um, I mean, it's sturdy. You know, you, you could hit right. that with a hammer. It's real sturdy. And, you know, you're going to be getting some protection right. there. Yep. You know, the, the outer shell is a real, real hard plastic. Mm -hmm. the, cool. buck, the buckle that goes on the side that, that snaps the whole thing down, it's legit. So a real sturdy product. So if yeah. you were, you know, if you were maybe like doing some hiking or something and, mm -hmm. you know, needed somewhere to protect... All right, protect it. That would be it. Where's uh, hold on a second here. And one last thing, it comes with a strap that you can use to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe for an armband or to go around a belt loop, something yep. like that. Okay, that's the uh, Pelican. That model is called the I-1010. What is this, this one? This is. It looks like a clear jack strap. All right. But it's actually a little dry bag. Okay. Concept is the same. It's got a, a watertight audio port here. I'm reading from the sticker that they have. And basically you would, I'll show this here this time, why don't we, uh, we'll use a movie so everyone can see. Okay, Yeah. so here. What movie is that? Uh, this is Aliens. Oh, yeah. Okay. Aliens. So hopefully we can see that. Okay, it's plugged in. You slide it on in. Slide it on into the clear jack strap. Slide it on in. I yeah, better watch what I say here. You had some comments earlier on a recent post about yeah. what to say and what not to say. Yeah, you can't use inappropriate language on the internet. That is a no no. No, you'll get caught. The FCC is. They're watching you. Yeah. There's no, no bad words on the internet. I got this thing deep in the jock strap. Okay, all the way at the bottom. <laughs> all right. So basically, this works just like a dry bag. Okay, you roll, and then you uh, clip around it. Yeah. And then it's got this audio port right there. Yep. Cool. That's pretty sweet. I like how it's got the clear front. Yeah. Well, and the the clear front could be good too for controlling while it's in there, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Now, th yeah, you're exactly right. Now this one, if you're in a little bit less treacherous of an area, okay, and you're only concerned about waterproof, and you still want to be able to maybe operate some stuff on here, then the clear one, you're going to be able to touch your iPod while it's in there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, again, you know, I can't fit this whole thing in the bucket, but, you know, obviously I can sit here and right. get this all wet. I even got my jack fully submerged right now. Yeah. You know, you can see it's in the water. The whole thing was submerged up to here. You know, no break in the audio. And again, this isn't designed so you can go swimming with this stuff on. It's just to protect right. it. So you want to be able to make sure it can withstand, you know, right. a quick beating and yeah. go from there. And, right. You know, no you break still, in my audio. You still want to be careful because you got a $300 phone in there. Right. And, um, you know, dry bags sometimes do get water in them. You know, most of the time it's from when you're opening and closing them a lot on a trip. Right. But, you know, you still got to be careful. This one, I think, might actually be a little more uh, waterproof than the Pelican. Yeah. And, uh, sorry, uh, this is the, uh, the clear jack strip is dripping on my knee. Oh, that's a no-no. Um... I'm sorry, this, this product is uh, called an E-Pod. It's from Hydropods. Right. I think this guy might be a little more waterproof. He might be able to stay underwater a little longer. Yeah. But you can't hit this guy with a hammer. So, you know, depending on what you're doing, you'd pick the case that is appropriate yeah. for your needs at the time. So, But both these products are really, really good. They can both get wet. Mm -hmm. And whatever iPod, iPhone, you know, you have inside, you know, should be fine. Yeah. Sweet. So that's pretty cool. That's so it. A we couple got, different options. Yeah, for... the Hydropods E Pod and the Pelican I ten ten. Right. Obviously, right. picks and links will be up. Yeah. So that's our episode for today. That's it. Another great one in the books. CampingGearTV.com. Thank you for watching.